I'm glad you asked that question the way you did. I think that every educated person needs to have a knowledge of the fundamental outlines of the scientific view of the world. And this will include things like the general theory of relativity, special relativity, quantum physics, evolutionary biology, particle physics, and so on and so forth. There is a kind of um, view of the world uh, which is part and parcel of modern science. And any educated person in Western science needs to have a uh, knowledge of the broad outline of this scientific view of the world. And then I think as Christians, we want to try to show how this view of the world integrates with our theological commitments. So we will be better, stronger Christians if we have such an integrated view of the world rather than a compartmentalized view of the world. One of the things that I emphasized most was how foundational philosophy is for every discipline at the university. The interaction between a discipline and theology will typically not involve the day-to-day -day activities of the scientist or scholar, the, the nuts and bolts of what he does every day. It will involve the philosophical dimensions of his view. And therefore, it is vitally important, I think, that we be familiar with the philosophical foundations of our respective disciplines so that we do not uncritically take on board assumptions which are fundamentally unchristian and so that we also can see the implications and ramifications of our views philosophically. I find that scientists who are not well educated in philosophy very often make philosophical mistakes by failing to draw important conceptual distinctions uh, and therefore the, the integration of their science with theology fails. I think it's important that in commending our theistic view of the world we not appeal to a sort of God of the gaps where we appeal to God to plug up the gaps in our knowledge of the world. And I think, sympathetically, that that is perhaps what Laplace might have meant when he said to Napoleon, sire, I have no need of that hypothesis. Rather, we should think of uh, God as foundational to uh, a scientific view of the world um, that doesn't exclude that God may have intervened miraculously in the world, indeed I think that he has, but we will not be simply appealing to God to plug up uh, holes left by scientific ignorance. The way I would put it is this way, I think that science can furnish evidence for a premise in an argument leading to a conclusion that has theological significance. This will be a philosophical argument for a conclusion that has theological significance, but the science may provide evidence for one of its theologically neutral premises. And that would be, I think, a legitimate way to think of science in connection with justifying a theistic view of the world. I would hope that an organization like ABC Square would both foster top quality science at our best universities and in our scientific societies, and then also have a kind of leavening effect in our culture and in our churches so that science is seen not as the enemy of Christianity, but rather as compatible with it and an ally in the quest for truth.